Good morning, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. This morning I am hanging out in my kitchen defrosting some tomatoes, listening to my rooster make a lot of noise and being embarrassed about it, um, and getting ready to can up some Fotel. Lived in the Midwest for a little while, learned to appreciate Rotel as a cooking ingredient, and now I use it in like so many things. And last year it occurred to me that what if I could make my own? So I started hunting around on the internet and scouring through my ball books. And what I kept coming up with were things like tomatoes and celery, um, or tomatoes and okra, which when you're looking at recipes that you are going to water bath can, you need to be really cognizant of the pH because heating it is going to seal it and potentially kill some hazardous business in it. But the pH has a lot to do with spoilage and keeping things good. They're definitely sealed because they've been through your canner, but you don't want them to spoil. I mean, I guess it's better that it spoils while it's sealed because then you don't have to... Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> spoilage can also open your jars and that's no fun. Um, so anyway, I wanted to can this up and I looked at the label on the back and it's literally just like tomatoes, peppers, and some citric acid. So that's what I wanted to put in it. Um, and I was lucky enough to come across a recipe from an Oregon cottage and that's what I'm gonna be following. It's, it's a Rotel copycat and she has done the research on making sure that this is at the right pH and safe to use. I'll put a link down to her recipe in the description. I'm also going to put another link there that she has given us to the Wisconsin Extension Program, and they've done a Rotel as well. And she talks in her blog a little bit about how she made sure that it is the right pH. So we're gonna be doing that today. I'm so looking forward to it. So I've got the tomatoes defrosting, not, not the unripe ones. Um, <laughs> these ones are getting red. These ones I pulled at first blush and we're gonna put those in the window and let them ripen up. But these ones, these are the ones that ripened up in the last couple of weeks and we froze in the basement. So I've got tomatoes defrosting in the sink. I've got my jars washed, sterilized, and still warm in the dishwasher. I'm gonna get the canner set up and let's make some fotel. Tomatoes are peeled. Got a little bit more than 12 cups here. It's pretty wet. Let me get it back in the sink. Um, the recipe, the recipe calls for 12 cups. So I'm gonna adjust it up just a hair um, and keep the proportions the same. The next step on these is going to be to break them down a little bit. Because we want a Rotel-like product, um, which is a diced tomato, we do need to cut these up. It's going to cook on the stovetop for a little bit, so that's going to break some of our tomatoes down. And I really don't want to wind up with sauce. I want diced tomatoes. So we're not going to cut them down very much. Um, for example, I have a aroma here, and I'm going to cut it into quarters, and then I'm going to cut those quarters in half. It's going to be a slightly larger chunk than in a can of Rotel, but it's going to be really close after it breaks down a little bit in the pot. This is super messy work. I'm going to do pretty much everything right here over the sink. The other thing that we've got to get ready are peppers. I pulled out some lovely shishitos and jalapenos from the garden and that's what I used last year and it was delicious. 
So we're gonna cut up right about a cup full of these. All right, my peppers are done. I've got a cup of peppers here. I'm gonna get everything into my big stock pot. Canner is started, and these are gonna simmer on the stove for about 10 minutes with the tomatoes. And into this pot, we're gonna add a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of oregano, and a half teaspoon of coriander, and a teaspoon of black pepper. And we'll simmer this for 10 minutes. We are off the stove now. I've got the canner ready to go. She is simmering away. I've got my jars over here and I'm gonna fill them. I'm gonna can them up today in 12 ounce jars, um, just cause I like the size of them and it tends to be the perfect serving for us. So let's get that done. Before I do anything else with these jars, I need to add the citric acid. Mostly I add them at the beginning so that I don't forget. Um, I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of citric acid into each of these jars that will help it maintain its freshness. It's also gonna add a little bit for flavor um, and it's going to make sure that our stuff doesn't spoil in the jars. I'm gonna fill each of these jars to make sure that there is a half inch head space on them. And you can look at your debubbler and see where a half inch is and then measure it right out, just like that. Um, I'm gonna fill up these jars and get them ready to process. Have my flats here and I'm gonna pop them onto my jars and screw them down finger tight but first I'm gonna go around the rim with some plain white vinegar just to keep it clean and make sure we don't have any debris I mean you can see this one it's covered in stuff so clean that up get the top of the rim nice and that way we can ensure a seal. We have 10 little 12 ounce jars. I'm gonna get those in the canner and they're gonna cook for 40 minutes. There we have it, 10 jars of Fotel. Um, some of them have a little bit of extra liquid in the bottom, but that's okay. Just give them a swish when you're ready to use them. I'm gonna get these down to the basement tomorrow, and right now I'm just gonna hang out and listen to these jar tops ping. Thank you so much for hanging out while I was canning today. I will catch you up soon. Take care. Blah, 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 blah.